Hi, if you're seeing this pop up here, your organization is preventing you from selecting this option when you're trying to share something in um, Office Online. What happens here is you won't be allowed to embed any Microsoft Office documents within monday.com or within anywhere else for that matter. So there are ways around this. So one way around this is to go into admin and allow this or to allow certain external places to share. So we can go in this by going to office.com as an admin user and selecting admin here. If we then select show all, we see the admin centers and we can see SharePoint. If we then go into policies and sharing, we can see how things are set up. So the most permissive is anyone. Users can share with anyone and they don't require a sign in. The least permissive is only people in the organization can see things and there's no external sharing whatsoever. But there are additional settings that we can look at. So for example, we could say anyone with the link and that would be the most permissive or we can do other things and say we can limit external sharing by domain. Only certain domains will be allowed to have the um, document embedded. This is a good route when you just want to embed in a certain place, like for example, monday.com. So here we're going to select that and we're going to add a domain and it says allow only specific domains. Now if we put in here monday.dsapps.info, this is the domain where the Microsoft 365 Office embedded app is hosted on. So this allows the embed to work. So we can save that. And then when we go to monday.com with our embed link, so if we go in and we select, I don't know, select this item and we go into share and we select share, Now it allows anyone with the link, but it only allows to be embedded within the monday.com app hosted on that specific domain. So that's one way of doing that. And we can then select anyone with the link and we can say whether they want to edit it or just view, apply that. And then we can copy that into our monday.com app and then the app should work nicely.